From ABT version 4.4, the PXC4, 5 and 7 range supports the integration of Modbus TCP gateways. This allows to integrate Modbus RTU slave devices via TCP connection, through Modbus TCP gateways that take care to routing by IP, and also by port addresses. The gateway network structure is defined in the ABT site Modbus editor. Therefore, the communication setting of the connected RTU devices are not visible in ABT site, since they are managed by the gateway. Let's have a look how to configure a Modbus network with a TCP to RTU routing by IP. Considering as example, a Modbus TCP gateway, configured with IP address 172.27.1.100, and two device lines, on which the RTU slave devices are connected. At the same time, some Modbus gateways can also carry data points too, independently from the RTU device lines. The line 1 gets the IP address 172.27.1.101, while the line 2 gets the address 172.27.1.102. Let's see how to configure this example in ABT site. From the building structure, double click to the controller to jump to the engineering tab. Move to Modbus Editor from where we are now going to build the Modbus network. Right-click to the root node and add a new network, or simply use the commands on the right side corner. Switch the network type to TCP, and keep the port number as default 502, as this is the port used by the gateway in our example. Of course, this depends from the gateway itself, please follow the instructions from the vendor. From the new Modbus TCP network node, Add now a gateway, and define the IP address of the first line, which is, in our example, 172.27.1.101. Once confirmed, the gateway node is created, together with the first line. To add more line, right-click on the gateway node, and add a new line, defining the IP address of the second line, in our example, 172.27.1.102. The second line is available in the structure. From now, we can drag and drop from the library the RTU devices to the related line. Please, take care to adjust the slave address of each RTU device. If the gateway itself carries data points, Add a TCP device from the gateway node. Give a meaningful description, if required, and indicate the IP address of the gateway, which is, in our example, 172.27.1.100. Add now the data points, following the same workflow of a typical Modbus server. From the Modbus gateway, it is also possible to check the IP addresses of the gateway itself, and of all of its lines, in one shot, to better troubleshoot in case of issues. Let's have a look now on how to configure a Modbus network with a TCP to RTU routing by port. Considering as example, a Modbus TCP gateway, configured with IP address 172.27.1.100, using the port 502, and additional data points are connected to the gateway itself. In this case, it is going to use just one IP address, while the gateway lines will simply use different ports, 17002 for the line 1, and 17003 for line 2. In this case, the structure we have seen in the routing to IP example, will be a bit different. As only one port number is supported by the network, each line needs its own TCP network. At the same time, the IP address of the gateway itself is supported by the gateway line node. So, each line needs its own gateway structure. As consequence, every single line will be comprised of its own TCP network line, its own Modbus gateway, that in the reality is always the same, and the line itself. Additional data points connected directly to the gateway, 
will have their own network, as we have seen in the first example. Let's see now how to configure it on ABT site. Here we are again into the Modbus editor, from engineering of the controller. Add a physical TCP network for gateway itself, and change the port number, if necessary. 502 is the common port number for Modbus TCP networks, but it can be different for other devices. Please check this information with the Modbus gateway vendor. Here will be added the data points that are carried directly by the gateway. Add now a new TCP network for the first line, and define the specific port used by this line, which is, in our example, 17002. Add a gateway to this line, and indicate the Modbus gateway IP address. To create the second line, Add a new TCP network from the root node, defining the proper port for the second line, which is, in our example, 17003. Then add a new gateway, and indicate the same Modbus gateway IP address. The structure is now defined, and we can drag and drop from the library, the Modbus devices to the proper line. Please take care again to check and edit, if necessary the slave addresses of the devices. The routing by port Modbus gateway is now configured.